when I got to Frisco, me and Austin Collie, we worked out. So they ended up yeah. keeping me and Austin Co- Collie for um, the new, I'm not new, but Indianapolis Colts. Colts. And so we ended up going and doing what we're doing. We both on the I, team. Oh, real quick, I actually saw him when I had when I was with the New York Jets. Yeah. He they brought in Austin Collie for a workout. So I remember being like, oh, that's Collie working out. Like, you yeah. know, so but go ahead. Yeah. So now Austin, my guy, I love him to death. Um, so I remember us being there. And for the first week, I'm kind of like, okay, we just counting some bodies, you know, because I've been around the league a little bit. I ain't no fool, right? Um, yeah. And so I'm we around and I'm like, okay. I didn't complain. You know, we just kind of there. So one day, a week later, we there after our first preseason game. Me and Austin, we eating at the table. We eating our food. And so Jim comes up and says, what's going on, guys? How you guys doing today? And I'm like, oh, I'm all right. And somehow he heard my, oh, I'm all right. He like, why well, just all right, Hawk? And I wasn't <laughs> going to complain, right? I wasn't going to complain because I'm like, man, I ain't going to be complaining and shit, man. Damn. So, uh, and so I told him, no, I'm all right. And then I end up saying, no, nah, coach, I ain't all right. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, yeah, well, well Hawk, talk to me. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, Coach, man, from my knowledge, I thought we were going to get an opportunity to come here and compete for a position. And I'm going to be honest with you, I felt like I haven't had that opportunity to compete for, for a position. And right now, I feel like I'm just a body. Because at the end of the day, I came here over Jacksonville, and I could have went to Jacksonville. You know yeah. what I mean? So uh, he like, um, okay. Because no, 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 I was like, Coach, because I play special teams too, and I had I'm not, I had – I have not had an opportunity to play special teams at all. Yeah. So being in my position that I'm in, I understand that you have to play special teams in order to make us to to earn a spot on this team. You know what I mean? Um, and so he's like, okay. And you know, hardball sit there for a second. How about I give you the first kickoff return this week, huh? And so I was like, all right. And, uh, <laughs> I was like, all right. And I told him, I was like, and I'm going to take it to the house too. Know that. Like I told him right then and there, I'm taking <laughs> yeah. it to the crib, right? And so Austin right there, you know, Austin probably think I'm bullshit, but I'm really mad though, like, cause I feel like he's trying me right now. Like I'm yeah. just, well, I'm not, you know? So I'm like, I'm like going he, to the crib. So, and I knew- do something Austin, so he could be quiet. Huh? I said like, it was almost like he was just trying to throw you a little bone real quick. Like, let me just throw him a bone. Yeah, absolutely. So he like, okay. And like, I was dead serious. So all we could practice and tell him my boys, man, listen, man, block somebody i'm going to the crib meet me in the end zone so i'm telling myself that boom all week long it's going down i got to and so i'm this type of guy if i say i'm gonna do it i gotta do it now right i got to because i don't want nobody to think i'm fraud i like like you know i'm a, I'm a fraud you know yeah so i remember that week i remember uh on my way to the game coach dub called me keith williams mm-hmm. called me and yeah. so i'm talking to dub and here and he'll he'll tell you this story I'm, I'm talking to Dub. I pull over on the uh, on the side of the road before I get to the game. And I'm talking to him. And I'm like, Dub, bro, they trying me, bro. Bro, they trying me, bro. I'm about to go to the crib tonight, though, Dub. Watch it. I'm to the crib tonight, right? Uh, and so he like, yeah, you know, he give me his speech, and we talking, and we good. And so the game time come, and I think my return, I got my return sometime in the second quarter. And yeah. I'm like, you know, you know, my drilling up, my heart like this. You know, and I'm pacing back and forth. So as I'm pacing, you you looking at me like, oh, confident as hell. He ready to go. I'm nervous as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, because you know, I said I'm I gotta do it, so I gotta do it. So I remember pacing back and forth, and I'm telling myself, like, Hawk, I'm looking at them in the line, and all I said to myself, I gotta I gotta get to the other side of them. Just get to the other side of them. You know what I mean? And so that thing <laughs> kick, and we're about eight yards deep in the end zone. Boom, I get that thing, I hit it. Get up in there, I make one cut, I'm like this. And in my mind, I feel like I'm running hella slow, but I'm trying to get out of there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. in my cut and got to that side, I'm like, I'm crazy, I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? So I got to the end zone, popped the top, you feel me? Cause I, you know, it's not emotions going through. Cause I'm like, first of all, you tried me like I'm a scrub. And it's just hella emotional, like, man, y'all better stop playing with me, man. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? So I popped the top, boom. You know, got yeah. flat and all that craziness. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so it was just a lot of emotions. What did Jim Harbaugh say when you? What did, what did Jim Harbaugh say when you got to the side? Like, so I Jim saw him talking. Jim to was him. like, he was like, see, 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 see Coach is right there, man. Hey, my bad, Coach. He wasn't tripping like that. I was like, Coach, my bad. You know what I'm saying? That's on me. You know what I mean? But you know, yeah, whatever. And so we was good right there. But the bad part, well, not even the bad part. 
remember later on in the game, I'm, I'm, I'm at receiver. And I caught that ball on the sideline. You feel me? Got banged and, you know, was hyphy, you know, turned up. And remember, that's when I had Buddy Desmond. Yeah. You know, Desmond Bishop, that, that yeah. was Mr. Vikings. And so a lot of people didn't know that that was my homeboy. And it was kind of like love, you know. So, like, man, you already know. Like, he was talking trash to me. I was talking to him. I kind of had Buddy, like, like a handshake, like, you know. You should be good now. Yeah, somebody had called me. But yeah. uh, and so I kind of had him, got another personal foul. You know what I mean? So I got two personal fouls in one game. And so, um, you know, most people thought because of the personal fouls and me getting popping my top, that got me kicked on the team, which that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, somebody said that today in my comments, too. It's like, oh, he got cut because he had two personal fouls. Yeah, yeah no, but so, and like, you know, I don't want to go around telling people, no, I didn't get cut or cut because it's, no, I got cut because of his business. I'm a veteran wide receiver. You have Mario Manningham. Crabtree on injury reserve, and you know, and I'm a veteran, so at this Anquan time, Bolden. Anquan Bolden, so if I'm, I'm a veteran, so if I'm on a roster week one and you decide to let me go week six when them boys come back, now you still got to pay me, you know, yeah. you know what I mean. And so, what happened was I went to meeting, and you know, they was like, Hawk, man, we love what you did, which you know, your performance and all that good stuff, man, but you know, the business. You know, it's just business and not not because of no personal foul. We know you're not that type of guy. You was excited, you was fired up and all that stuff. Cause I don't got no track record of being a clown. You know what I mean? So they were just like, man, the business side got you. You know what I mean? The business side got you because I'm a veteran. And so what they wanted to do was bring me back week two. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, so, yeah. So the money wouldn't yeah. be guaranteed. So it's just weekly payments. So now you man, you weekly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when they come back, I can release you and I have to pay you. So it's just business, you know, and that's why I never took it personal. You know, a lot of folks that don't know this game will think he got cut because he popped the top. I'm like, out of here. You know what I mean? So and, and to be crazy, huh? What you, what you, what you when say? I got when I got cut from the Jets, it was because Joe McKnight had a concussion and Brian Winters yeah. had an ankle sprain, and they had to make room yes. to bring in somebody else for the next game to play. Right. And without having to put, you know, somebody on IR and free up a roster spot. So I exactly. think that's just part of the game that a lot of fans really they they don't, don't understand that part where it's – and I have no ill will towards the Jets. You know, mm -hmm. you just understand the business aspect of it. True. I saw heads rolling that whole time. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, heads so, is rolling left and right. So, so, and here's another true story, right? So, so you are on the team, right? You're on the 53. You think you safe? Ain't nobody safe though. So let's say a lineman, two linemen go down. They have to cut from another position now. You know what I'm saying? So you got that worry of all year long that you getting cut too. You're the third and fourth receiver. Man. So when cats get hurt on the field, man, get up, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Take money out my get up, man. What are you doing? You yeah. know what I'm saying? So and you see them boys come in and work out every Tuesday. You know, you yep. see receivers, DBs, all that stuff. So they working out. So you're like, oof, man, somebody's going to get cut, baby. You know what I mean? So there's just added stress and worry on your mind, you know, uh, when a tight end go down, when a lineman go down, two linemen go down, you know, a 2D tackles go down. Like, that's just another added worry on you, man.